Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen. First of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my bird watchers. If you haven't subscribed, you've been thinking about subscribing, that's all you have to do. Ding! Hit that bell and you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Thank you for all your good comments you've been leaving and everything. Hope I've been getting back to the best of my knowledge. Today, I'll be doing something different in the kitchen today. Today, I'll be cooking on the stove. Today, I'll be making some chicken stew. I'll be doing it in this skillet right here. As you see, it's nice and new. My second oldest daughter and my son-in-law have brought this for me for a year. And I decided to use it today. And it's looked nice and good. So I'm gonna try it out today and see how good this stainless steel work and everything. So today, my ingredients is I'll be using some water. I'll be eyeballing a little olive oil. I have my chicken right here, nice cut up and everything. And I'll be using a teaspoon of chicken broth, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of salt. Uh, and I'll be using a tablespoon of flour. Plus I'll be using more flour when I'm making my own roux. I'll be using two cloves of garlic and I'll be using some chopped up some onions. I have some green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, sliced onion. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. You know Mr. Bell know how to do it. This right here is gonna be one delicious dish. Gonna enjoy this chicken stew. My kids love it. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get this started on the stove. Right now, I'm gonna get everything together. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour a little of this olive oil on here. Like I said, I'll be eyeballing this right here. Just enough, that's about enough right there. Let that melt. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my onions in. As you can hear that there's scissor. I'm gonna just saute these just like this. Looking good and everything. I'm gonna put my garlic in. And I'm gonna tell you, once you start putting this in here, right here, the kitchen just start automatically smelling good. And I'm gonna just stir this up, just like that. It's nothing like a homemade gravy. It's nice, good, and brown. And I'm gonna put this flour in here. You know, and it depends how light you like your gravy or how dark you like your gravy. Me, myself, and I, I like a real dark gravy when I'm doing certain things. So I'm just gonna let this get nice, good, and brown. See how nice and brown this is coming out too? That's all you have to do is let it sit and everything is coming out real nice and everything it's cooking this flour is getting nice and brown okay as you see this is nice and brown so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add my water in here and pour it in just like that stir it up a little more Stir that up nice and good. Look at that. Stir it up. Let it just cook. Just like that. Get this nice, good, and thick. I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. Hey, I'm gonna stir this up and she sees coming out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just start putting my seasoning in right there, like that. My little chicken broth, my black pepper, and my salt. You can put any kind of seasoning you want, but today I'm just using this seasoning right here. This is what my kids like, so I'm gonna face it to their taste. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put two spoons of flour 
inside this cup. Like that. I'm gonna add me some water in here. I'm just gonna put it on three cups. And I'm just gonna stir that up. This right here is gonna help thicken it. And you need more group, more juice. So I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, as you see, I didn't mix it up and everything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour it right in there. Just like that. I'm just gonna mix it up. And I'm gonna let it get a little thick. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my onions in just like this. Just put all of them in there like that. Put my bell peppers in. Nice good green bell peppers. And this right here is gonna be my yellow, orange, and red bell peppers. And just put them in there. Like this. I'm just gonna stir that up for a minute. What I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna put my chicken in. gonna put the chicken in just like this and let it just sit like that just like this put all this chicken in and I'm gonna put the top on it and let it cook okay this right here I put all the chicken in and everything it's looking nice and good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this top on it. Like I say, this is my first time using this one. And I'm going to see how it cooks. I'm going to take a look at it now. To see how this is coming out and everything. Get a little stereo on it like that. It's looking good. It's not sticking. And I'm gonna leave the top off for a little while while this is cooking. It's looking good. I'm gonna let it cook just like that. Okay, this right here is nice and cooked and everything. You see it's looking nice and good. This right here is done. See my gravy is nice and good. And think I'll be testing this out a little bit later. Right now it's, it's too hot to test out. But I will be testing that out and everything. This chicken stew is done. That's your chicken stew cooking on the stove. And that's cooking That's cooking with Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell did it again. Your chicken stew. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little taster on this and see how it tastes. See how it then cooled off a little bit. So... We're going to ask you to see the juice and everything looking nice and good. I got a little bit of everything on here. So I can just get a nice, good little taste. See how this come out. Get me a piece of meat on there. Still hot, so. It's nice and good. I can taste the season. It's a little hot, but it's good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't know how to subscribe, that's all you have to do. Ding! Hit that bell and you will subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Leave a comment in the box. If you 